and this seems like maybe a strange question, but I was just, this thought came on my mind, where did the space come from? Where did space come from? Yeah. Where can space come from? Well, why, where is, why is it here? Wow. Space cannot come nor go, but the sense of spaciousness is temporarily seem to be overshadowed by this, uh, this, this cloud of thinking yeah. and identification, can give the appearance of a very uh, claustrophobic yeah. existence. You see, it's just a kind of cloud, and it's always passing, but something else comes up again, and the attention goes to it. There comes a time when the attention does, is not fascinated anymore with the moving clouds. It's not fascinated at all. It may be for a while fascinated only with itself, when it discovers that I don't have to be counting clouds, because something is just aware of them, it's endlessly passing. But uh, where did that something that is aware come from? It doesn't come from anywhere. It's <laughs> also space. Perhaps you're asking the wrong question. If maybe. Yes. Where does space come from is not going to satisfy you. Where do I come from? Where do you come from? Okay, this is a bit better. Uh, when you say or feel I, what is that I comprised of? I has a lot of opinions about others, but what is I? You have to look not just with your head, but look with your feeling, your feeling self. When you say I, hmm, what comes up as I? Does it have a shape? Is no. it, you see, what is it? Help me out a bit. It's space. It is space. Can it have a birth? Maybe. In what form? How in what way can it be birth? How can the, what is invisible be born? I'm, I'm not forecasting. I have okay, no judgment yeah, in this no. question. Let's look together. I freshly. guess. I guess. Since I was a child, I had that question in my head. Yes. And. I guess I created a picture of somehow like a little dot, and then space was created. But before there wasn't even space there. So. Yes, if, and the absence of space is what. If space is not there, what is there? Nothing. Yeah. So is nothing uh, something more subtle than space? I think so. Yeah, I like that. Because it is said of all the elements that are perceivable. Ether or space is the most subtle, and you can perceive space, so you must be subtler than space. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Feeling. What can be more subtle than space? You say nothingness. Nothing. Did something create the space, though, for a purpose? Mm. <laughs> I can't answer this one. Okay. You got me on that one. <laughs> Did someone, something, create the space for some purpose? Space is necessary for there to be manifestation. Without space, no manifestation. There cannot be movement, because movement implies some object, some distance covered. But then what was the purpose of creating the manifestation and mm. the space? What have you found? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I have nothing. Yes, yes. Just many questions. I have some ideas about it. Because <laughs> it seems like it must be there, because it is the only way in which what is can have an experience of itself, have a taste of itself. That without the body, there cannot be any experience. It cannot be an experience. I'm sure the body is there to enable consciousness or this space, this intelligence. To taste experiencing, yeah. I I just feel no. a tremendous urge to know the purpose of existence itself, like. Yeah, you're not going. To, well, I would say this thing, that uh, what you're doing at the moment is a pretty good shot to find out what is it that exists. You say you want to know the purpose of existence, okay? Yeah. But I'm asking you, what is it that does exist? How can this question come? Something must be existing to ask about existence. Yeah. Uh, what is it that is asking about existence? And where did, where it did come this from? question come from? Yeah. 
Yes. And what is going to know? I guess I still have to find out. You being what? The part that wants to find out. Why I'm fin- wanting to find out. Yes, yes. The part that wants to find out. What is aware that there's a part that wants to find out? Yeah. How much of a part? How much percent? Everything. Like Everything wants to find out. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> mm. my, my whole being wants to find out. Yes. Yeah. This urge is there. You want to find out. You want to find out the purpose for existence. Yeah. Mm. And if you are told that the purpose for existence uh, yeah. is even so that this question is also can be asked, mm? and maybe that it cannot be solved like this, in the way that maybe the mind wants, maybe a, an aspect of yourself as well called mind wants to know a kind of what I would call an absolute answer, where there cannot be an absolute answer. There's no absolute concepts, because you say, I want to know. You know what? What is what is to know? What do you know at the moment? Tell me something that you can be totally sure about that you can say, I know this. Nothing. Because I feel the highest joy of being is to contemplate itself. I guess I want the answer to be that we are all here for a really good and loving reason. And many people have this thought. And they end up fighting about it. Mm. Ultimately, there is something in this space, thoughts come, innumerable thoughts come, but they are not steady, they change. It may seem that, oh yes, I want to know absolutely about this. I want to know absolutely about it. But even if in a moment you might feel, I absolutely am pleased about it, I am absolutely pleased about this absolute discovery, huh? it will not be consistent. I know. <laughs> you do know it, don't you? Yeah. It will change, because the nature of mind is like this. It's not constant. It's very relative. A mood will change it. You'll get the runs, and you'll forget about it. <laughs> so nothing like this is going to be lastingly satisfying. Just inside this space, there seems to be an infinite potential uh, for the taste of somethingness in the infinite expanse of knowingness and emptiness. Pleasure yourself. But uh, if it creates a kind of restlessness in you, yes. yeah, then it's better to drop it, because it's not really bringing anything. You are complete as nothing. There's nothing more than nothing. But then it's hard to live in this world where there's many people telling you you need to be doing something and yes. um, giving you a, a, an absolute reason why you should be. Why you should be doing something. Yes. Uh, am I one of them? No. <laughs> so there are a few who, okay. are not <laughs> who won't trouble you about what you should be doing. Many people like that because other people tell them they should be doing something. <laughs> And they've not found what they should be doing, and so they go around molesting other people. <laughs> well, they have many very good reasons. Like, how will you feed yourself? How will you? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder in London when there's no berries on the ground, and uh, like. I lived in London for six years without any money, in this town. And I wasn't looking in dustbins. And I had no savings. And I'm not more special than you. If life is kind enough to give you poverty, you might find this out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>